Hello and welcome to The Moment from Trinity United Church in Winnipeg for Tuesday, November the 14th, 2023. Uh, just a couple things to talk about. Well, hopefully you saw the Bomber game on Sunday, either in person or on the TV, or maybe you heard it about it being talked about. We're grateful to all the people that go out there and work. 14 people every game go out there and work, whether it's sunny and hot or raining or cool or kind of chilly as it was on Sunday and we are grateful for everyone who does that and, and is a part of that group that goes out there. Um, if you would like to be a part and you are thinking, gosh, I wonder how that's done, um, please be in touch and we'll put you in touch with the people who can tell you all about it. There are many folks in our congregation who have done this and over the years and but we're always looking for new folks to kind of fill in the gaps and, and to be there when, uh, when needed. In about 12 days time, in exactly 12 days time, we will be celebrating the praise and worship service on Saturday, November the 25th at 7 p.m. The doors open at 6 p.m. This is a great service full of wonderful music from uh, the um, Trinity Choir and the Good Shepherd Choir and of course uh, Second Chance. We've got a great message from One Just City and we hope that you'll be able to come and be there. They are looking <clears throat> excuse me, from uh, for donations for juice. And so if you're able to, you know, send send along some frozen lemonade or iced tea or something, uh, be in touch and we'll, we'll put you in touch with the person that is collecting that. The STARS campaign has begun and so Karen Wall in, in her, all her creativity is now um, uh, filling out the form and it'll be attached to the email as well you'd like uh, for one of your family members or an honor or or in memory of someone to please fill out the information and to get it into the church either by email or by dropping it off and um, all the information is in the email how to do that. It's a great way for us to decorate our church but also to see all the folks that uh, we are honoring and, and thinking of in memory of uh, during the Advent season. And December 3rd does start Advent, so uh, we've got some great things. Of course, the first of Advent is always a special Sunday at Trinity, and uh, Destination Bethlehem is, is well underway with the planning. Uh, we're doing that with Good Shepherd, and we're looking for some volunteers, so maybe you'd like to be, I don't know, a lamb or a shepherd, or maybe you've always wanted to be an angel, or there's one part for a reporter. Um, yeah, there's lots of parts that are there, whether you want a big part, a small part, you want to do a reading, you want to do, you know, something to help us tell the story for those who are gathered. And I know there's going to be some great music along with uh, a great message for all of us. And so um, be in touch if you would like to do that, even if you've never done it before. Um, be in touch and I'd be happy to help you work your way through which part would be the best one for you. I know that uh, it's still November, the weather was pretty great today, I don't know, three, four, five degrees outside and that was really nice. I know the snow is coming and all of those uh, winter things are on its way, but we know that our heart is warmed by God's Spirit. And so as we, as we um, live out our faith in the world, we also know that there are um, so many gifts that are given to the mission and the ministry here at Trinity. And so we are grateful and we say thank you. So be well. Be in touch if you want to know anything more about any of the things I mentioned or any of the things in the email. Amen and amen.